Um, uh, we have, uh, I think, two segments here. And one is uh, the ongoing SMEs, uh, which are trying to have a hybrid between uh, digitization mm -hmm. and also the labor, the labor, the labor, the labor integration. Uh, this is more encouraged because of the, the setup of their facilities. Uh, the goals provided was capital intensive. Uh, what had been set up before mm -hmm. uh, requires the interaction between the machine and the human being. Uh, so you see there's such a hybrid. But we have seen the nascent and uh, the emerging uh, opportunities or industries coming up, whereby uh, 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 SMEs are choosing uh, full dig dig digitization. You can see the alternative bags uh, that are, we are currently uh, having instead of the plastic bags. Uh, those bags, you find that the machines that are making them, yeah, there is minimal interaction between many human beings and uh, the machine itself. Or even when you're talking about uh, uh, the production of, uh, of, of, of apparel in the country, uh, go to some of these EPZ, uh, uh, EPZ uh, companies that are newly established, that are nascent. You realize that, uh, that, that uh, they, all have, they have digitized even the making of apparel of clothes or, or, or clothes uh, because that is what is, uh, uh, that, that's what is driving their competitiveness. So it's just a question of trying to balance between digitization and uh, the, 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 the labor or, or the human capital. Because if you look at our country, uh, we are more human or we are more uh, labor intensive uh, than capital intensive. And uh, looking at uh, digitization is uh, capital intensive. Uh, so it's a question of trying to balance the ecosystem and ensure that, uh, that uh, we are not losing on jobs, but again, we are digi digi digitizing uh, through.